In this short video, I'm gonna be showing you how the snipping tool works, what the snipping tool is, and why you're gonna fall in love with the snipping tool after I show you how to use it. What's up guys, it's Mike, and I'm about to show you one of my favorite free Microsoft Windows programs that has been around for a while now, but many people don't know it's available, so I'm gonna show you how to access it right now. So the first thing we're gonna do in this tutorial is we're gonna come down to our Windows Start button, and this snipping tool goes back to several versions of earlier versions of Windows. So do not worry if you don't have Windows 10, it goes back, I think, all the way to Windows XP. So type in, so what I did is I go down here, hit the Start button, and type in the word snipping. And you're gonna see here, it's the first thing that pops up on the list. So right at this moment in time, I, what I'm gonna recommend is that you right click on that and do pin the taskbar. Now mine is already pinned down here, as you can see, but yours will probably say pin the taskbar and that's what I recommend because once you learn how to use this, I think you're gonna really like it and so that's why I encourage you to keep it pinned to your taskbar because I really think you'll use it that much. Okay, so then we're gonna hit open. We're gonna open the snipping tool. And what it is is this little bar that has several different features on it. And what the snipping tool allows us to do is it allows us to take a portion, it's like a screenshot, but a much better version of it. So instead of taking in a normal screenshot, you have to take a picture of the entire screen, which is kind of a pain because you probably don't need everything on the screen. So what the snipping tool comes in and allows us to do is just take a portion of the screen that we want. So let me show you. And I'm actually filming this, guys, on Thanksgiving Day of 2017. <laughs> so what better picture to, uh, to snip than a turkey itself? So let me open up my webpage here. And so here's our turkey on screen. Now, obviously, we could download this picture, right? But let's just say we want to get a picture of this turkey. So on our snipping tool here, what we're going to do is hit New Snip. If I hit that. Now notice how the screen just went white. Well, that's completely normal. Notice my cursor changed to a plus sign. So now that's gonna allow us to take a portion of the screen. So what we're gonna do is you left click and hold, left click and hold and drag. And once you've got, now I can see how I'm moving my mouse around. I'm holding my mouse button down the entire time. And now once you have the image you want, let go. So there it is. So now you have this image of the turkey. We've literally carved the turkey here, folks. And what you can do is you can do several things from here. First thing you can do is see how my cursor is like a little dot? I'm moving. I don't know if you guys can see that. There, There is a pin feature. You can write in red ink, blue ink, or black ink. So watch red. So I'm going to do a smiley face on this turkey just like that. If you want to do an eraser, there, this is an eraser feature. So you can erase it just like, just like such. If you had stuff to highlight, which, like text, which I'm about to show you here in a second, you can highlight text. So the most common thing I use it for though, is I either save this as an image, or I copy and paste this into instant messaging programs, into emails. Like I said, I use these as graphics in my videos. So there's all the different things you can do with it. So I can hit copy, I can right click and hit copy, or I could have just hit this copy button right here. And let me open up Word just as an example, then you can just copy paste and boom, there it is. So then you have your picture. Now, if I had drawn all over this with a red pen, it would save that too. So I could right click, copy and come back here. Let me delete this one and do paste. There it is with all my markings on it. So there's a lot of things you can do with it and it's a, such a simple program to use and you can have multiple snipping windows open all the time. Now, like I said, I use this a lot at work because what this really is, is this, it really enhances communication. This is a tool that allows you to communicate in pictures. So we use this a lot at work to enhance our communication. And I just use it in my daily life as well and for my videos. But at work, I like to be able to send screenshots of the things I'm looking at on screen and send it in emails, send it in instant messaging programs and things like that. If you're a college student, you can implement these images in your presentations and your papers and things like that. So really consider using this program. I, I really like it and I really do think you'll like it. So just play with it a little bit. Of course, you can save the image too. You don't have to copy and paste. If you come to file, 
save as, and then notice it's a, a ca it says file name is capture and it's a JPEG file. So you'll just go to, like, I save things on my desktop. So if you just want to save this, hit save, and it is right here. So there's, oh, let me drag it over. There you go. So there's my picture that I just saved. And you can do this with anything, guys. You can take pictures of the, your screen of your video game, of your webs of websites, of a movie. You can actually snip an image from a movie. It's pretty crazy. So like whatever's, literally whatever's on your screen, you can use this tool to snip it the majority of the time. There's only been a few instances where I found it doesn't work. But most of the time, you can take a screenshot of a certain portion of your computer screen anytime you want, which is why I love it. Dominating! The other thing you can do with this is, see this little send snip? This, if you have Microsoft Outlook or if you have an email program set up, if I hit this button, it will immediately attach this image that we have on screen into an email. And so it, you don't even have to save the image and then attach the file. You can just, as a shortcut, you can just click this email button and it'll automatically attach it in your email. It works really good if you have Microsoft Outlook in the Microsoft Windows Office package. If you use that program, it will instantly open an Outlook email file or new message in your email and then you'll attach this image to it. And you can also change the way in which you snip by selecting mode. Let's open up new snip. I'm gonna do freeform snip. And this gives you much more flexibility of how you snip something. And so look at that, isn't that crazy? Let's do another one, let's go new. If you go to mode, go to full screen snip, then that's automatically gonna take a screenshot for you. So it's like a shortcut to a screenshot. Damn, I'm good. Let me show you the last feature of the program, which is the highlighter tool. So I have my web browser open and I have a Wikipedia article on screen here that talks all about Thanksgiving. So let's say that I wanted to learn about the history of Thanksgiving and I wanted to send somebody a picture of it. So what I'm gonna do is go to snip. I'm gonna put this back to rectangular mode. Then I'm going to snip this part right here. So there's my snippet image of this website. If you just go to highlighter, you can now highlight certain parts of the article that you want to really stand out. And of course, then you save this image, save it to your desktop. Yes, so if you save it, so now when you open that, you have a nice image. You can paste this in an email, you can copy it, whatever you wanna do, and you can send it to somebody else or you can just use it as a picture for yourself to refer back to. We use it a lot for training at work because we can create very visual documents very easily using the snipping tool to implement training, better, more effective training in our firm. Communication, like I said, it's mainly a communication tool and a great tool for gathering images. Okay, that's the bulk of what it can do, but if you just implement this in your daily life, whether it's in your personal life or at work, I think it's gonna make a big difference for you if you work a lot on computers and it can really enhance your presentations, like I said, your communication, etc. All right, guys, if you liked the video, make sure you drop a like and share this information with a friend and also be sure to subscribe if you have not already. On this channel, every single week, we make new videos that are gonna help you with your finances, your investments, taxes, and videos like this, which are gonna teach you things that are gonna help you in your career and your everyday life. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'm sorry I wasn't able to post a new financial video, but I thought, hey, it would be a great day to do a tutorial video. I've been working on the third part of the money saving series of how my wife and I are able to save over 50% of our monthly income. So I'll be posting that the following week. Let me know if you use this snipping tool. Let me know how you use it. I would love to hear how you're using it in your daily life. And remember guys, this is a free program. As long as you have Microsoft Windows, it's absolutely free. I don't know if it works for Macs or if Macs have something similar. I imagine they do. But for Microsoft Windows, this is one of my all time favorite programs that comes with the software package. So if you have any questions or comments about what we discussed here today, or if there's something I didn't explain correctly, or if, you, if the way I explained it didn't make sense to you, no worries, just drop a comment or question down below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Love you guys, have a wonderful Thanksgiving, eat lots of turkey, lots of pie, and just have a good time visiting with friends and family. Love you guys, peace. Yeah, it's just me and you.